All right, everybody, we are at the Performance Racing Industry Trade Show in Indianapolis, and I'm here with Wayne in his C4 Corvette that's uh, a little bit unorthodox. It has an engine that I've never, uh, or a motor, that I've never seen in a Corvette before. So what are we looking at here, Wayne? Hi there. Um, yeah, so this is a, this is Moamps, my electric Corvette. Uh, I actually did the conversion on it about uh, 12 years ago. Okay. And uh, what I've got is a three Hyper 9 uh, HV net gain motors. Three and, of them. Uh, okay. And they are actually... Um, coupled with a uh, torque trans uh, gear reduction system. Uh -huh. And so uh, they put out 386 horse, 486 foot-pounds of torque. Okay. My zero to 60 is 4.8. Um, my range is 180 miles, and the top speed is 125 mile an hour. And uh, in the back here, I actually have um, a 12 Tesla Model S uh, batteries. Okay. Um, so it's a, actually a 70 kilowatt battery pack. It's uh, water-cooled, of course. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at the uh, motor again. So it's three sure. motors connected together. Just the, the input shafts are all. Yes. So they're actually like uh, Legos. Yeah, connected together. Uh -huh. Okay. And then up top there we have the uh, motor controllers, right? Yeah. So these are the three motor controllers. Uh -huh. Yeah. So yes. we're DC to AC. DC to AC controllers. Yeah. So they yeah. they run on. Uh, they're actually receiving 170 volts. And then what it does is it sends a, a three-phase 100 volt to the to the motor, each of the motors. Each one, yeah. So mm -hmm. what's in here? This is just uh, yeah. So this is off? actually the yeah the shutoffs and then the, the contactors that actually apply the the high voltage to uh, from the battery pack to the uh, controllers. Yeah. So I can individually um, isolate either one of the motors if I'm doing some programming or troubleshooting or something like that. Okay. Now the motors are air cooled then, right? Yes. Yeah. Motors okay. are air cooled. Uh -huh. And can you see the windings in there? I see some some holes. Uh, th those are actually just more more. Uh, just for looks yeah yeah so that's actually just uh um, they're actually air cooled but uh yeah it, okay. it kind of looks like an air vent but uh yeah you know, i was gonna they're, say they're just, uh, you got a little water in there and you're yeah. probably gonna be shorting out or something like right. that so yes. they're, they're induction motors or are they magnet motor, permanent magnet motors yeah they're, they're permanent magnet okay yeah. mm -hmm. and then here we have a uh some lithium iron phosphate batteries is what it looks like, right? Yeah, so these, uh, of course, they're, they're kind of taped up for safety for the show, but yeah. um, the, these are actually cal batteries, and this is actually my normal 12-volt battery that would be for, you know, my wipers and headlights and so forth. Uh -huh. uh, but the difference with this is um, it's actually a 100-amp-hour battery rather than like a 40 that you would have conventionally in your car. Yeah. So um, there's uh, the car also has a DC to DC converter. And so um, it takes that 170 volts and drops it to 12 volts. So it's just kind of like my alternator, so to speak. Yeah. And so um, with, uh, um, with that, um, in the event that it should happen to fail, I still have like two and a half uh, times the reserve, you know, uh, just in case something happens, I can still get the, you know. Still have your parking lights and, on and all that other stuff. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, without it actually failing. How's the brake booster work? Uh, the brake booster? Um, so... Um, my, my power steering, uh, of course, underneath there. Um, Where are we looking at? I don't it, it would actually oh, be. Oh, you can't see anything? Yeah, it's actually underneath, uh, okay. so you can't see it. But um, I actually have a, a Toyota MR2 power steering pump. Yeah. And so what it does is it, it supplies, a, of course, you know, the pressure for my power steering. Yeah. And then actually it's a, um, ported off uh, and gives me hydro boost for my brake boost. Okay. Uh, so I, uh, for my power brakes. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. what's, uh, what's over there? Um, that's actually the the cooling for the um, for the uh, controllers. Uh -huh. So there's actually a pump in the front that actually routes through a, a trans cooler with a fan on it, mm -hmm. and uh, so it, it uh, basically uh, circulates the water about five gallons a minute. Gotcha. Okay. So this mm -hmm. is a '96 Corvette. So this would have had an LT1 in it originally. Yes. How long have you owned this car? Uh, I've had a car since 2000, oh. and so uh, I actually did the initial conversion 12 years ago. Yeah. Believe it or not, with a 12 blue top orbital batteries and a, a nine inch warp motor. Oh, just lead it's, acid and straight. Yeah, lead acid. Uh, it's and, a forklift motor, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, believe it or not, at that time my range was only 15 miles. I believe it. Yeah, and yeah. So, so now just uh, with the battery technology that you saw with the the, the Tesla, I can actually go t literally 10 times further. Okay. With the same weight and so forth. So yeah, it's it probably a lot. It's, is, it, is it the same weight you think? Uh, oh. Yeah, it's, it's roughly within about 100 pounds of the same weight. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. So the, the Tesla modules I have, it's, it's roughly about 660 pounds of, of batteries. Can we take a look under the hatch and see the batteries? Um, yeah, you certainly can, yeah. Can we, can we open the hatch, though, I mean? Uh, I've actually got the, the everything oh. shut off. Yeah, you don't want anyone can't. Yeah. sticking their hand in there and right. yeah, frying themselves. So. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. How about the gauges that I saw on the built, built, uh, oh, A pillar? Yeah. yeah, so on the A pillar, I, I can actually open that up for you. Uh, so on the A pillar, this is actually uh, uh, so you can see the status of um, all, all three of the motors. 
so you can actually see it inside there. Oh, can we turn them on and see it? Uh, unfortunately, no, because no. they made me disconnect the, the batteries. Oh, man. <laughs> For safety, yeah. It's funny hearing that, because I know when you go to these trade shows, they say you can only have, you know, a quarter tank of gas or something like that. Right, now, yes. now they're going to say yeah. you can only have so, so yeah, much voltage. Or, I, I, or I had to be half charged, and I had to have everything <laughs> shut off, and I had to have exposed the terminals taped up. So <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, all the batteries are just right here right, above right the, uh -huh. yeah, in the trunk? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you, you uh -huh. couldn't figure out a way to put them kind of within the frame or anything like that? And the, yeah. yeah, the problem I was having was, uh, you know, to try and balance them, there, there just wasn't enough room under the, the hood, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah. But the, yeah, that's a, kind of the unfortunate situation there. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. there was the charging port over yep. here? Yeah, so we have Let's a charging a port, which is a J1772. And then, of course, uh, um, of course, behind the, the fascia here, I have uh, two battery chargers that are, you know, actually behind the, you okay. know, the, the rear. Yeah, they're built in. So. And then the, uh, the battery management system is also on the other side here, uh, of course, you know, hidden. Yeah. So the uh, lights here actually give you status, you know, while you're charging as to what the, uh, you know, the your, uh, state of charge actually is. Okay. And can you charge us at any charger, any charging, public charging? Uh, yeah, with the station. exception of uh, Tesla. Yeah. yeah. You have yeah, the adapter? I, I can't do, do this. Uh, yeah, I don't have the adapter, uh, yeah. so, so I can't do the superchargers, but, uh, you know, parking garages and, you know, 90, 99% of the public charging is J1772. And yeah. so um, I, I can do level charge, uh, level two charging, which is, you know, 240 at, um, 6.3 uh, kilowatts okay. uh, per hour. Mm -hmm. So which uh, Tesla did the battery pack come out again? Uh, it came out of a, a Tesla model uh, S85. S85, okay, mm -hmm. and that's kind of the mid-range one, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. So uh, the, the 85 meant that the, the battery pack was 85 80 kilowatts. kilowatt hours, yeah. And so I'm using 70 kilowatts of that 85. Yeah, why okay. don't you use the remaining 15? I didn't have the room. <laughs> oh, I see. It's it's yeah. a smaller module. Okay, because I yeah. remember hearing something that the initial Teslas, there was like the 60, the 75, and the 80 or whatever, and they were all the same battery pack. It was just software that limited how much of the battery pack you could use. Yeah, they, they were actually, yeah. uh, um, they'd actually changed uh, actually how many cells were in the, the particular module itself. Um, so I, um, I'm, I'm using actually 12 of 16 that they would have normally had in like the floorboard of the, of the Tesla itself. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I ended up sourcing it through eBay. Uh, somebody had wrecked a, um, uh, a Tesla in New York. And so I was able to pick up 14 uh, of, the, of the 16 modules. And okay. so I'm using 12. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so uh, yeah, my, my dad has a, a C4 Corvette. So, so, you know, similar to this, and he also has a Chevy Volt. Mm -hmm. And on the Volt, I got him a license plate frame that says, I'd rather be driving my Vets. I just think oh, it's kind of funny go. that uh, yeah, there's an electric Corvette like he is. So he, my dad's an electrical engineer, so he's going to appreciate this video. But uh, <laughs> the transmission, it's, it's direct drive, it's one-to-one, -one. what is it? Yeah, it's a 190-to-one uh, by, by Torque Trends. And so it, it weighs uh, 35 pounds. And so it is just, uh, you know, attaches right to the back of the third motor. And then I have a short drive shaft to, to my differential. Okay. So uh, my, my rear end's a 259 rear end. So I'm uh, my overall drive ratio is roughly about a 492 uh, drive ratio. Okay. So at like a 60 mile an hour, I'm, I'm tacking about 3,800 RPM. Okay. What is the RP, uh, max RPM of the motors? Uh, 70, 72. They, okay. they redline at 8, but I pretty much limited it at 7,200. So if you wanted to, you can go, you said 140, or what was it? Uh, uh, well, ma max is like 125. If, okay. if I went to redline, I'd yeah, probably be close to about 150, somewhere yeah. there. Yeah. And is it, I mean, is there a clutch or torque converter, or is it just the motors are spinning it's, all uh, the time? Yeah, it, they're, they're spinning all the time. They're spinning all yeah, the time. Yeah, so there's okay. no clutch or anything. So yeah. do you have regenerative braking then? Yes. You do? Yeah, okay. it does have regenerative braking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was that easy to hook? Up or? Yeah, it's all part of the controller, so it's, it's just yeah. programming, and so you, you just uh, you know sort sort out how much regen you you know depending depending on you know the way of the car and that sort of thing, how fast you want to slow down and those sort of things. Yeah. So okay. yeah, so it's actually able to um, you know do that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. So I have yet to kind of look around here. I've, I'm aware of some of these cars. I saw Jay Leno at SEMA, the Ford Illuminator. And you know, so, so people are skeptical about electric cars. This is going to save our gas engine cars. Because if you want to have cars like this, you need to drive something like this during the week. You know, there's no reason to sit on the 405 freeway in an internal combustion car going 20 miles an hour with 700 horsepower. So use your electric car during the week. Then on the weekends, you take your Mustang or whatever it is you have out, and you have fun and you enjoy it. I think that's the real future of it, you know? The car was the savior of the American horse. There are more horses than American. But anyhow, is there anything else in here that you know really catches your eye that uh, thinks really cool? Yeah, I got some some uh, good friends here that have a, a Cadillac that pretty much yeah. has the same 
Um, Same setup? Uh, setup okay. And, uh, I think you could change on this car. What would it be? Uh, probably um, what, what I'd like to do is put a, an overdrive in it. Okay. Um, so what I can do then is I can actually go to taller gears. Yeah. Um, so, which would improve my uh, zero to 60 time. And then, uh, uh, of course, then um, also it, it gives me the ability to actually cruise at, say, 60 mile an hour with, uh, you know, not being wound out, say, at 4,000 RPM, maybe only like 2,500 RPM or something like that. Yeah. Do these motors produce a, a noise then or no? Uh, they're, they're extremely quiet. So uh, my, my wife actually did a video of me doing a drive-by uh, on my house. I was going about 60 miles an hour, and actually the uh, tires were actually making more noise than the car was. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been in so much of cars that are silent, like Teslas are pretty silent. Mm -hmm. Some of them do make, you know, some noises and stuff like that. So. Yeah, this one's pretty much, uh, it, it, I kind of make the joke that uh, people will ask me, well, what does it sound like when it's running? And I, I just can't point to it. Well, this is pretty much what it sounds like right now. Yeah. So why do you have uh, upgraded, slotted, and drilled rotors when you don't need you yeah. don't need that much brake, and now you have the uh, yeah, electric mainly, brake. Yeah, ma mainly for the looks. Yeah. Mainly for the looks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not necessarily needed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, very cool. Thanks for sharing this, and thanks for bringing it here. Where yeah. are you based out of again? Thanks, John. I'm out of uh, Fremont, Ohio. Okay, and you do this stuff just as a hobby then, right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. All right, where can people, uh, do, are you posted on the internet anywhere, if, if people want to find um, out more or talk with you? I actually have a website. You do? What is it? mo dash ampsamps.com. Okay. Moamps. All right. Moamps.com. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Thank you.